Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you're doing very well. My name is Simulation for the Nation, as always. And you join me here on Friday today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a different mod review there, really. This one, this one caught my eye. This was released yesterday, and it is something that's going to add an awful lot to the game without really having to do too much or be too complicated. And I think for anyone who's playing on PC here, this is going to be a great option just to really open up a whole new possibility of options uh, for you in game so we're going to take a look at it right about now you can download it from the mod hub it is called the additional game settings mod it is uh, by rockstar for pc and mac as i mentioned there and what it allows you to, to, to do is to dig that bit deeper and go that bit further with anything that you are uh, doing in game we do currently have various different options there such as seasons uh, settings and uh, you can, if you have it enabled on there, you can press uh, left, alt, and S. That'll take you into the seasons menu. You go into a big plethora of different settings there. However, for this one, this is built into the in-game uh, option menu. So you click on escape. You've got all the regular icons here, but these two cards are going to be your additional settings. And it brings you to a screen that looks very much like this. Not too many options here that you can see, but a lot of things are easy to toggle. So for example, to start with, you can turn off the HUD. It's no longer there. Turn it back on. Then you got your HUD in the top corner. Uh, things the same things apply for the crosshair. You can add, if you'd like to, the current time and date into the top corner. Uh, so you can see in the top right corner there, we now have the real time date that I'm recording in. Uh, which, if you want that, you can have that one in there. Uh, and then you can also have a, a fade effect and have info dialogues on there. So that'll be things like when it says press Q to attach when you uh, reverse up near a trailer, for example, or tip here, or things like that. You can have all of those in. Trailer fill indica level indicator is as it would sound. It's in that, that little gauge that you'll see there to show you if you're at 50% or 100% capacity. Some people don't like to have that if you really want to kind of keep on with that realism. And you can remove it nice and simply. So that's pretty cool to have. Now these two, I haven't got a vehicle at the moment. But what I do have is these kind of reduce how sharp and severe the movements are of your camera. So for example, we don't have it enabled right now. But as you can see, if I do this, make everyone a bit dizzy here. It's, it's quite a crisp movement. If I turn player camera smoothness on, go to 100%, you can see I'm moving at the same time, but it's just kind of making it that little smoother, that bit more uh, softer movements, really. Uh, so that's kind of cool thing to have on there. It makes me feel a little bit seasick, but you can obviously dial it down to get a little bit more of a softer level there if you want it. So that works kind of well. Um, nice little touch there. Uh, save game auto start is uh, as you would expect it to be engine starting on or off if you have that enabled there uh, It'll give you the option to uh, have an easier start there, which is pretty cool. Now this one Basic machine mods. This is pretty cool If we come into the here right now and just jump on small tractors this I have no mods installed on this test map right now This is all just your run-the-mill uh, Vanilla mods I think is the best way to describe it. If I jump on into the settings again. I turn this off it removes all of the base game mods. So now all I'll see if I come back into the shop here is any of the mods you put in there. So you don't have to go scrolling through to try and find the right vehicle you want there. It's going to be right there. Nice and straightforward there. Pretty cool. Nice idea. Never thought I'd need that, but it's a nice thing to have there. Uh, it kind of narrows down what you're looking for. But this side here, this is really pretty cool. You can change the map, the lighting for your map. I'm on Sandy Bay right now. You can change it. If you prefer the lighting form another map, you can change it to any of the maps that you have in your mod folder at the moment there. So you can see I can change to the Northern Coast. I can change it to West Newton. Look in the background there. You can see the lighting's changing and you can turn it off. Now, I don't have too many mod files in here, but this is the generic map folder. We've got Ravenport light in there. We've got Felsbrunn, Erlingrat, Shellington Valley, which is a new lighting. So you can see everything looks a little bit different. We jump back in again. And we can change it again. If you want to really kind of play with it further, you can even uh, enhance or decrease the, the brightness. Look at that. That's super bright. But we can come down the other side here as well and really bring it down again. So you've got an option between what looks like 0.5 and 3. That's looking a bit darker here as well. So you might, if you want to, get a bit more contrast there. Really pulls down that brightness. So the, the peak of the day there makes it a little bit more uh, manageable, really, which I think is kind of a neat thing to have. Depth of field here as well. You can uh, turn on or off so you get a little bit more of a, a feel of depth within your within your vision within any kind of um any kind of view you have across here will give you that little bit more feel of, of, of a 3d feeling of depth there which is kind of neat um, these two didn't even think i'll need these to be honest birds you can turn on or off which is kind of neat i assume whenever the time comes if we have more animals in here that can always extend out to more animals but you can turn them off and animal collisions, uh, that will uh, mean that in theory, if the animal collisions are turned off, they're just going to continue to walk right on through you there, which is uh, 
which would be neat. They seem to do that quite a bit with me anyway, but I like that. I like it a lot. And camera collisions. This is, uh, if you are kind of like trying to take the perfect screenshot, and sometimes uh, if you are, let's say you're coming up to here and you want to take this perfect screenshot on this angle, it won't let you look through the collision of this building here. But with this disabled, it will do. So you'll be able to zoom in a little bit more and get the right angle there. And uh, you can also zoom right on inside uh, various different machines and models out there as well, if you really want to as well, just to give you something a bit different. Uh, but yeah, that is a surprising mod, but yeah, really, really well, well thought out, really well planned, lovely interface, fits beautifully into the game. There's no clunkiness to it. Uh, so to just to recap, there, the available settings include your uh, interface visibility and your crosshair. Uh, you've got your changing the time and date formats. Uh, you can change the visibility of the dialogue windows, fill level indicators, along with uh, the smoothness of your cameras, changing of the mod visibility within the store and all of the environment settings to go with it as well there, which is kind of neat. Uh, so it's it's a small thing, but it's sometimes these small scripts that are really big game changers here. And I love this. I think this is going to be a really nice little addition there, particularly... We know Oxygen David makes some really good lighting uh, for his maps. You can add that onto any of the maps now just by clicking on one of these arrows here, which is perfect. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you that one, show you how you can download it. You can get it on the mod hub there, download it, stick it into your mod folder. That's all you need to do and you'll be away to the races. But now though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. This has just been a very quick insight into what I think is going to be a really good little mod and a nice game changer moving forward. Hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, you've yet to do so. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Simulation for the Nation for more and we'll see you all in the next one.